All right, guys, so I just loaded the project file here. And uh, first thing I kind of want to do is just do a quick run through and just check the bodies. I want to see how he split this up because that's going to play a big role in uh, the retopology stage for game art. Now, the modeling looks like an excellent job. He did really good on the modeling. Now, uh, first thing I did notice really quickly is the tip of this grenade. This should be attached, so I'm just gonna go to combine and attach those because, you know, why not? Now, this might be a little problematic if you wanna actually use this for game art as far as uh, having the hammer cocked back or uh, the trigger actually move because it's all one, unless he just wants this to be a steady prop. So uh, we'll leave this for now. I'll probably just do an automatic UV for this. Um, I want to divide this whole rocket launcher into a couple different pieces because it's just one right now. So that's not going to... We, we can actually, we can do without splitting this up, but I think I'd rather do it just for the sake of uh, being neat. So what I'll do is go to modify split body and I'll split this into two pieces because I want this breacher here to actually be split on its own. So I'll go to splitting tool and really closely you can almost always find a face to choose from. So I'll select that one. And as well as the one right over here. So that will have two cuts. Right there, let's hit OK. Now, as you see on the bodies layer and drop down, these are all separated now. And this is easier when you're doing the retopology stage because you don't have to worry about the big Thing is a bulk and plus uh, you can uh, maximize your UV space by dividing these up the correct way now I'll toggle these off I'll keep that on this is actually the one I want to separate by itself so I'm gonna go to isolate and I just right clicked went to isolate now the problem with this is you might get some artifacting uh, if you try to uh, I re apologize this because I can't really see underneath here so well, especially over here. It's, so if I'm going to be using a quad draw in Maya, you know, uh, it's going to be hard to get underneath this surface. And plus there's like, when he combined this, this base area here is actually colliding with this ring and has a nice little cut right there. But uh, I think we can go without that and we want to separate this. So. There's a nice little trick I want to show you guys. I can easily just go past this. So you can skip this if you want, but this is one way to get rid of uh, this uh, iron side here. So if you select here, say he has a fillet on the bottom. And if I select that area, I can go on the timeline here. And I'll just find where he did that that fillet. So we see here, if we uh, right click and go to delete, it's gonna delete this whole functionality of him adding a fillet. Still need a little bit of computing. Now it's gone, right? So there's no fillet here. So if I wanted to split this up, what I would do is go to modify split body, right? Like I did earlier, as the body I wanna split and the splitting tool. And I'll show you really quickly why this is this is a, a Fusion 360 hack. So usually I would typically do something like this and split this, but we might get an error, right? And you see we have this pop-up right here, and it lets you know that it's not working. And that's because of Fusion 360, uh, the data, or some people say data, you know, uh, in the history, in the timeline. So it's trying to compute something that happened that's not even there anymore, but it's somewhere in the in the background running, right? And this might go over a couple of people's head because I know it's a, it's kind of a tough concept to grasp. But the reason we can't split this is because of that data that we can't see and because of the timeline, right? So I'm going to hit Command Z. I'm going to hit it one more time so I can go back and... You see, that didn't split. And if I try to modify split it here before the fillet, or uh, he had the fillets here, so I went back before I deleted that on the timeline. Now if I try to split body, 
we're gonna get that same error, right? So you see, it's there's no way of going around this, but there is a way, right? So to fix this, what you wanna do is actually select the fillets themselves on here. So I'm just shift selecting these. And what I'll do is right click, delete. And what this did was get rid of that, that background data that's stored inside of Fusion 360. So now if I go to modify split body and do what I did before, we're gonna have this actually work. And now we don't have any, any errors. And as you can see, everything is actually working just fine. We got what we wanted. And we have that little artifacting where I mentioned earlier where it was colliding through the ring. So that's something you can really do about that. So you think. But one thing we do have is when I did that cut, this is all one body, so it divided over here as well. So if you see this area now, it's separated. So we'll just hit combine. Or if you don't have this up here, just go to modify, combine, and we'll just combine these back together if that's what we want. See, no harm, no file. And you want to do the same thing for this uh, site post as well because you want these to be separate right so we'll just shift select these and that's a little uh hack a little fusion 360 hack if you guys didn't know and you guys could always just skip past that if you find that not so important some people might find it uh, useful so i have those there right click delete Now, modify split body. Choose this surface here. Then we have it all by itself. Right? Just the way we want it. And really quick, uh, just so and you guys can skip this part because it's not so super important because we're not even going to see this area. But for the sake of the tutorial, I will like to get rid of this. And to do that, I'll just select here, right? Go to create sketch. Finish sketch. I did a finish sketch. Uh, actually, instead of finish sketch, I'll do it here. So yeah, 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 just finish sketch. Right click, press pull. And I'm gonna press pull this arrow to this area here, right? Change it to new body. I'm going to right click, press pull, and make this go higher. Something insane like this, right? <laughs> I'm just going to move this. I don't want to move it like that. What I'll do is right click, move. I'm going to set this pivot point, put it in the center here, recheck this. And all I have to do is just rotate this around, right? I rotate it. Now I'll do combine. Combine these two together, change it from join to cut. And really quickly, you'll see that's gone. And there's so many different ways to go about fixing that. And that's just one way I just chose. Now I'll just uh, turn everything back else on.